Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tatami Galaxy episode number 9. Alright, um, the previous episode we had a conclusion to the small little arc that we had uh, consisting of 3 episodes. Uh, the 3 choices that he made 3 times after getting transported back in time and how he chose all the 3 different girls in different different parts and in the end we see him choosing Keiko who unfortunately and fortunately in a way it was ozu and uh, akashi <laughs> now unfortunately because it's ozu and fortunately because it's akashi because akashi is the main target i'm guessing from like you know from this show that's the point that i'm getting you know up until now that akashi is like the main heroine so unless and until he kind of gets you know starts uh, going on her route this won't end this thing will kind of continue and continue so <laughs> that's why fortunately he, like, he kind of like you know chose akashi in a way but <sighs> let's see let's see i'm sure like we're going to get some kind of conclusion here probably we're going to go into more into akashi-san's story or stuff i'm not sure because it's the ninth episode three more episodes left including this one so yeah i guess we're getting closer to a conclusion so let's see i'm i'm hoping we get to see more akashi-san this episode so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number nine of tatami galaxy so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Okay, let's see what's keep out Birdman. Yo, what's happening here? What the? Master Surgeon? What? He's a villain now? Oh, is this Akashi? What the? It's Akashi I'm s yeah oh yeah birdman the uh, the group that she ha <laughs> yeah Oh my god, this guy is still going in wrong the wrong direction. This is the ninth episode for God's sake. What the <laughs> Oh my god, I was thinking we we're gonna get some kind of you know um what do you call it like development with Akashi? It's going in a different direction, completely opposite direction. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see how he <laughs> became the villain in this story. Like, you know, I'm sure we're going to get to see like what happened before this. I was thinking, where did I hear the name Birdman? Birdman is the uh, group that Akashi-san is in, isn't it? Like the the plain thing that they do. All right, so <laughs> apparently everything happened with this guy, you know, this guy became the villain as well of the story, like in a way, you know, villain, kind of. 
Wow, this is really unique, you know, like we're seeing every possibility. Okay, let's see. Yeah, what did you choose? Let's see. The oh my god. The black flyer. Secret Society Lucky Cat Chinese restaurant. Oh. Okay. Oh damn, they have a whole logo and stuff, you know, they're quite legit. Is Ozu the man? Oh no. What the, what the hell? Aijima. Menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that the cycle cleanup cops that he, yeah, before he got involved in them. Damn! Oh my God! Oh my. Okay, this is a mess. Oh, that's a sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh my How are you? Oh <laughs> Okay Oh damn I thought that was his tail you know <laughs> The sheath of the sword Oh here we go Yeah Plating <laughs> Library police. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Wow, that's a strong organization. Oh, Higuchi. <laughs> yeah, overdue. Oh my god, he's not here. He has ducks in its place. Okay. Just a little longer. Oh no. Is he going to run away or something? Yeah. Wait, where did he run away from? Okay. Damn. So the main character is still not accustomed to it. Yeah. He might become the leader someday, you know? Like Ozu has that potential. Wow. I want to be promoted. Everyone wants to be that. Have more fun. True. <laughs> oh, Ozu did that. Oh my God. Yeah. What the hell? <clears throat> Finally, I don't know. Okay. Oh, so I think in the end he's going to get you know, like go in the cycle corpse. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no no no! Here it comes. Ozu is interfering again. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Misogi. Oh, I can see Akash stand there. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Damn. Oh, the moth. <laughs> this never changes. <laughs> I think he she loses the Mochikuman now. Yeah. What? Okay. Oh lord. Wow. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, that, that would be good. Oh, Ozu got that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, why? All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god, now god uh, god <laughs> yeah he's remembering his past choices yeah okay come on Oh! Okay, good. <laughs> um, what happened? Did... And I'm disappointed. But you know... Okay. <laughs> Nine thousand yen. <laughs> Almost five figures. Next episode it will be. Oh my god. Lost his standing. What? Oh, his things got public. Who did that? Did Ozu did do that? Yeah, I saw this coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Whoa. Ozu establishes his government. Master Sergeant. Yeah, he became... He became more drunk in the power, I'm guessing. Yeah. Everyone in this world revolved around money. Oh, uh, here we go. So yeah, that's how everything happens. Okay. Yeah, the whole route is a mistake that you did. Okay. Who is there? Wait, he's opening his eyes. Okay. <laughs> he's hungry. Okay, let's go. Damn, this reminds me of the first episode. Did you know? Them eating ramen together. Enter your friend. Hmm. Yeah. True. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs> Over time, said a mother's belly. In a way, it's true, you know, this is like all trial and error that he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Without limitation. <laughs> Funny girl. He can, yeah, perhaps. Sure. Exactly, this is the whole point of the show. Wow. Damn, he gave him the... Exactly, true. Like, this... <laughs> it's mixed up. Like, there's everything. You, you... Wait. Hanuk? Yeah. That's not true, you know, like... Hmm. Yeah, he's doing whatever he likes. Who is this girlfriend that he talks about? Dennis Oka? Yeah. 
Yo, what? Wait, what's happening? Oh no. Oh, that's why. Oh no. So everything for, for was for this. Daughter of the Honkawa group. Daughter of the Honkawa? Who is that? Yeah. Oh. Damn. Oh God. Oh. Oh no, the Ha! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. Ha! <laughs> like Oh, there she is. We've never seen this character before. Also, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Okay, um that was unexpected, truly. Like like from the like uh, past few episodes, we've been hearing this that Ozu's girlfriend, Ozu's girlfriend, but I also never like really gave any thought about it. I thought like um yeah maybe there is someone you know like who knows but i never thought that everything that this anime showed us was because of that like um so does that mean so that does mean that everything that osu did in all these past you know these past uh routes that he went through everything was for this reason Oh my god. Well, that's what they say, you know? Don't judge a book by its cover. And I think this episode is probably the best example of that. Um, I, like, I, like, I thought that Ozu was just like, you know, this, uh, like, a guy who, like, had fun, like, you know, doing this kind of stuff. Like, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like, it's true in a way, as they like you know, and said in this episode that Ozu himself said that why not try having fun, and okay, at the end, yeah. So yeah, Ozu himself said that why not try having fun, and also um, uh, Hanuki also said that it's just that like you know, it's not that he is like doing this like it's just that he is doing whatever he wants to. He's having fun in his life. And at the same time, he also has a goal. So it's like he is having fun and trying to complete that goal as well, which is as we saw.
like uh, take that balloon up to uh, that place and uh, like go on a date with his uh, girlfriend I think he like it was like she was like they mentioned she was the uh, daughter of the Honkawa I think something yeah now all right so wow okay um as i said like i my impression on ozu excuse me was that hey he's just uh like you know a friend like like he's just a guy who is very true to himself he loves whatever he does and he has fun doing it that's why like you know he kind of like tries to <laughs> mess with the main character sometimes but in the end he has the best uh, intentions in his mind uh like as we saw him kind of saving you know um the main character two or three i think one or two times uh the first time was when it was he was kind of mixed up with that um the b the b episode the worker b episode like he helped them there and like you know like uh, a few other instances as well where he kind of helped him and now so here it is like as he says that he thought Ozu and he was similar. You can the main character I'm talking about. He thought about that and he was quite, you know, very much disappointed in not disappointed but very much fed up with Ozu as he said that oh like he has come to destroy my life, he has come <laughs> like you know he's a devil, he has come to uh, throw my life into chaos. I was wrong to like you know go along along with Ozu but like everything that he said was under the like he was under the impression that oh me and ozu are the same you know we are standing on the same like you know position but after he realized that that was not it like he was the one who is who was actually struggling for everything struggling to get a proper as he said the rose filled campus life and like you know he was the one who was kind of uh going um what do you call it like running and kind of uh, chasing this like fantasy that he had in his mind that oh i will have this i will have that i will spend my life like this i'll spend my life like that and all of these things while doing that you know like i always thought you know like this thing like all these episodes there was a thing that came in my mind when i thought that he says that he wants that rose filled campus life but to get that rose filled campus life each and every episode he has been using up the two years that he gets doing some kind of thing to get to that certain goal the two years which is supposed to be his campus life he is like you know using it up just either he's doing some part-time job something else you know like some mundane type of jobs just so that he can get that so-called fantasy filled future which probably never exists like instead of living his life in the present he's seeing dreams of the future he's making ca castles in the clouds like that's what he's, he's doing now there's a difference between chasing your dreams and wasting your current like you know present time to chase that so-called fantasy these two are different like, you know if someone has a dream which can be gotten you know like i have an ambition which is like you know like i let's take a very simple in, uh, like uh, example not an ambition but a goal in my life but a target in my life for example i need to buy this certain thing that i want i don't have any money so what should i do i go part do part-time jobs do stuff you know do little bits and pieces of jobs and spend my time to collect that money so that i can go to that goal that's a perfectly fine thing you know that's a very perfectly like you know perfectly fine thing because the thing that you want it actually exists you know it actually exists the thing that he is doing he is looking at a fantasy filled future which which is abstract which which probably doesn't even exist he's seeing dreams of a fantasy and he's using his current like you know like time his present time to work to get to that fantasy and when he is finally going and standing in front of the door of that fantasy uh, you know the fantasy sized room where he has all like you know his desires uh, stored in 
when he's opening the door to that uh, room he's seeing that there's nothing in, inside there's nothing and then he realizes that the time that i've spent these two years that i've spent chasing for that fantasy is all in vain every episode like you know like the, the past few episodes it was a little bit different because he was kind of going towards a different direction like the whole like you know the three ladies that he was kind of pursuing in three different routes that's a different case but before that all the episodes like you know there was this thing where he like he wanted to get a good bike you know like and uh like his goal was not getting that bike his goal was to be friendlier with the uh, like you know the other uh, people from the club you know and like other 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 stuff which probably like you know wouldn't have happened either way like that's that was a fantasy and for that he spent his two years like doing part-time jobs and each and every like you know like other odd jobs and stuff just so that he can collect that money to get that bike and after getting that bike he thought he was going to be able to like go and like you know catch that fantasy that he has always dreamt but his bike got stolen yada yada and all the other things happened you know and so like that's it like you know that's when the regret comes crashing down he realizes that like what have i been doing this past two years just so that we can have like you know like, that i can have an uh, outcome like this i didn't want this i didn't spend my whole two years like you know doing part-time jobs like using my time like uh, working like uh, uh like you know working continuously without any breaks just so that i can get get this future i wanted a rosefield campus life not this and like this is what's happening every like you know every episodes and that's the main thing like this always struck me really unusual that i thought that he wanted a rosefield campus life but he never like does that he always like sees these kind of far-fetched dreams where he like you know he has such a great future uh like thinking about it that he tries to get that future and fails spectacularly and he actually forgets that the rosefield campus life that he's supposed to get is the present and he's wasting that just so that he can get something in the future which probably is doesn't even exist like that's the main thing here like like you know like that's why they say like like i'm not saying that like you know having dreams is wrong having dreams is definitely um, okay and it's a crucial point of life but the dream should be something that you can actually get not some kind of far-fetched fantasy that you are making up in your mind like that's what he's doing so yeah like if if he just like you know if he had never did had these kind of goals like you know like oh i want a rosefield campus life and he lived his life normally like a person should try to make friends you know get involved with akashi san and interact with more people like have fun he would have gotten what he wanted to but he never did that he always had his targets set on a fantastical thing which never existed and that's the main problem that he faces each and every time and yeah i'm guessing he understood it here like he, this in this episode he really understands that he sees himself and also as a same like you know on the same uh like platform he saw themselves on the same platform standing on the same platform but now he realizes that no i was always lagging behind also and he was living his life it's not that he was just spending his time like you know fooling around and stuff no he was going towards a goal which can be like you know uh gotten like ozu's goal was something that could he could get you know it's possible it's something that could happen and for that goal like going on a date with her like he did the, all of these kind of things like had fun with his life like it's as if he spent his life very fruitfully you know and i'm sure like this is the life that he wanted the main character wanted ozu's life is something that the main character wanted he's realizing that now he's he he's realizing that no we like i and ozu are completely different like i always thought that he and like you know, my, me and him we were the same but no he he has that life that i've always wanted and how did he get that life just by acting normal just by having fun in his life like that's the main thing have fun
like oh, that was really like very inter- like a very interesting episode i have to say and like now he kind of like you know gets depressed in the end and just a sec um okay that portion was really interesting where we see the tatami room you know here it is uh, he says was i the only one who had wasted his life and just a sec another really interesting thing is shown here i did not realize it before like when he says that uh, okay here it is like uh, i thought that i like we spent our life uh, uselessly but i had i i thought that was the same for ozu as well however ozu had enjoyed his meaningless campus life to his heart's content he had a girlfriend and was even a fool in love was i the only one who had wasted his life now here it is ozu is falling down there's this black string of fate ozu cuts it off and we see the red string of fate Ozu's red string of fate, which has been connected with his girlfriend, I think. Yeah. And uh, the main character, we see him standing and the black string of fate kind of fading away. Okay, immediately after I was born, I was the incarnation of innocence, laughed as much as baby Hikaru Genji was by Kaguya. <laughs> with, a, uh, with not a hint of wicked thought. It's, it was said my smile would eliminate the countryside without uh, around my hometown with the light of love. And what of me now? Is this how you plan to settle your accounts as you are? And then this he's sitting in the like you know 4.5 like you know <clears throat> tatami room and the walls are kind of coming in. Where is the one responsible? If it will always turn out like this, then I should do nothing at all. It would be best not to set foot outside the 4.5 tatami room. And that really shows how wild the name of this show is Tatami Galaxy. It's like, you know, like it's, it's his place, you know, the, the tatami room. It's like his shell where he kind of you know go and takes refugee in if he like you know falls in these kind of problems and like you know like this happens like you know like everyone has that kind of a place where they want to be alone and stuff when they are feel de- feeling depressed and everything so yeah <clears throat> and like this episode he as we see like you know he goes into the complete wrong direction where he sh- which he should have been pursuing and as he says that like even though i got success in a very like you know wrong manner but still even though i got my success i feel something's missing and the answer is that the thing that you are missing is the enjoyment is the sense of fulfillment you never got that you know, as I said before, he was always going towards that goal, that fantasy, like, you know, that fantasy filled place, which never existed. He wanted that. And to do that, as he said, like, I, I've probably got into that place, you know, he got into, he went to that place. He is probably standing at the doors of that place, that fantastical place where he thought that, yeah, I will be successful. There will be like raven hair, uh, like, you know, hair colored uh, uh sorry raven colored haired girls all around me like you know there will be like i'll be powerful i'll like my like you know my my words will have weight to it you know all of these things i want to be that that was his like you know his fantastical place the success that he wanted he has reached there you know like all of these episodes he has kind of like tried to go there never reached it but in this episode he reached it but at what cost by using up the two years that he really wanted to have fun you know he used that up doing these kind of things which he never wanted to do and by the end of it he has reached there by trampling on others trampling on Akashi-san as well so that was the problem in this episode you know 
so like yeah like uh, uh, like his conscience probably is like as he says that i like even though i got i've gotten to that place i feel something in my heart a weight on me what is that that's probably his conscience and you know his realization that the thing that i wanted the most that is to spend my campus life in in a very fruitful way i never got that i went i i have reached that success but at what cost that was really good like you know and um uh yeah nothing much to talk about here we like you know like the whole well, like purpose of this episode was to see how like you know how the main purpose of this episode was to see ozu's part of the story you know and we also realized that yeah ozu is not as we thought him him to be he's really different you know he is has that life he has the like you know fun filled life that the main character always wanted and the main character has always like you know chased chased towards it never gotten like never got a hold of that so yeah he probably like as we see in the end he feels bad that was really good that was really interesting so everything that ozu did you know all the things that ozu did was for this goal wasn't it yeah i think so so wow that's really interesting like i never even thought thought about this like they mentioned his girlfriend quite, quite a long like you know not quite a long but i think two or three episodes ago like one or two times two, we heard about them uh, her but i never paid any attention because like you know like i thought like okay like okay girlfriend who is who are they even talking about and i kind of like you know like went past it and never thought much about it but like that was the main reason for everything wow okay now i'm guessing from the next episode oh another thing this episode did not have well okay did he uh like you know travel back in time i don't think so <clears throat> just a sec i'm checking if he went back in time this time no not, not nothing that sort of was shown so the the clock did not tick all right so i'm i don't know what's going to happen after this let's see like i'm sure we're going to see how he i at least i hope he changes after this like you know he runs towards that opportunity that he can see in front of him instead of running towards the opportunities that he cannot see so yeah and <laughs> as the astrologist uh, you know you know the lady old lady says that the opportunity is dangling go and grab it <laughs> wow damn that was a really interesting episode mm, okay i'm checking if i've missed something or not um one thing i'm still i'm sure i think we're probably going to get an answer why did higuchi call himself a god in the first episode i'm still very confused about that like like as far as i can say he he's just just a guy isn't he like he's just a guy who as he says like i want to go like i explore the world and stuff and i have this book that i wrote so what was that the first episode like what was that about I'm sure we'll get some answers in the end, you know. I think like uh yeah, I'm sure we'll get some answers because there are still a few things that are properly clearly not explained. I think we'll get them so, like very soon in the last few episodes. So yeah, okay, one thing. Who is Honkawa? Like you know, like they mentioned uh Like they said Honkawa's daughter. Like Honkawa that that sounds really familiar. Okay, I cannot find anything. Like 
was the honka was mentioned any time in this anime i cannot remember i don't know anyways um oh wait a minute software Oh, Honkawa! I realized it now. Honkawa is the softball circle, the B episode, the girl that we saw that that uh, you know that he, uh, the main character also wanted to like you know in the like who got like a little uh, appearance in the middle of it. You know, the dad was there, he just brought her daughter for a little, like, you know, I don't know, like, some kind of um, meeting or something for, like, she kind of showed her face for five or six seconds and then went back. And, like, everyone was so kind of, like, you know, um, like, smitten on her and everything. And, like, uh, the main character as well. And um, uh, Ozu was there as well, didn't, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. I cannot remember. But that was Honkawa. Okay, so yeah, we did get to see her. Obviously, we don't know her face. It's, it's kind of like, you know, like not shown. But still, okay, okay, okay. I can understand. Okay, all right. Like, uh, I, I was thinking like, where have I heard that name? So that was Honkawa. All right. All right. So yeah, that was this episode. Uh, so this was uh, my reaction to Tatami Galaxy episode number nine. So I'm very excited for the last two episodes. Let's see how this goes and uh, i really hope like you know everyone gets their happy ending so yeah th uh, thank you guys for watching again if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or your opinion about this episode or anything in general i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tatami galaxy so until then goodbye and have a nice day